It is an absolute honor and a privilege to be here with you. For those of you who don't know me, I have been in ACN now for uh, over 20 years. And you know, my goal every time I, I do trainings and uh, that you achieve regional vice president much faster. My goal is that you get to senior vice president as fast as possible, that you go to the next level, that you achieve your dreams, uh, that, that you achieve your goals. So keep in mind for the last 20 plus years, I've been on conference calls and leaderships, regionals. Uh, I've been around some of the best people in ACN, um, co-founders of the company. And so I have learned so much over the years. So I'm going to give you my perspective ba based on all this information that I learned from these amazing people around the world. So real quickly, before we get into the information, let me tell you how this, uh, this journey started for me. So I was 21 years old. And what happened was uh, for me was that my daughter was born. And when my daughter was born, uh, I was broke. I was broke. I was living in West LA in an apartment in West LA, California, uh, in an apartment. I didn't have furniture in the apartment that I was living in. Um, I had no food, uh, you know, uh, in, in the fridge. And I was broke in all areas of my life, emotionally, uh, financially, spiritually. And I was looking for something. I was looking. I was definitely open. And, um, and so uh, to make a long story short, I, I, met, I met a gentleman who asked me two questions. First question was if uh, I wanted to make more money. And the second question was, if uh, I was willing to give him an hour and to have him explain to me, you know, what was happening with this company. And so I said, yes, uh, I went down to hear the information. And after about five or 10 minutes, I absolutely fell in love. I fell in love with, uh, you know, with this, with this company. I fell in love with the services. I fell in love with the vision of the company, with the environment. Um, I fell in love with, uh, with the leadership and the people that I met. And I started building the business. Now, for me, uh, this was not a fast start. I actually, um, I didn't have a, a, an IBO join my team uh, in the first 30 days. I talked to a lot of people. I got absolutely zero results. Nobody listened to me. Um, I, I struggled getting customers. I barely qualified. Um, people didn't return my phone calls. And then month number two, I continued to work and still I had no results. Month number three, the same thing. Uh, now, about after about four months, I never missed a, an event. I never missed a training. I was committed. I was committed. I always sat in the front row. I took a lot of notes. And so um, a lot of people started making fun of me. A lot of people started making fun of me. My friends called me the phone man. I remember, um, um, you know, someone said to me, someone started calling me Anthony Robin, Robbins. And every time they, they saw me, they would ask me if I was a millionaire already. And so it was, you know, I, I, I wish um, I could tell you that it was not frustrating, but it absolutely was. But this, 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 this negativity actually fueled me. It actually got me more excited because as, as people questioned me and questioned, you know, the business, I, I, it gave me fire, it gave me the fuel that I needed because I wanted to prove these people wrong. I wanted to prove that this worked and that I could make it work. And see, I learned during that time, but I learned that it's, it's, it's more important sometimes what you learn than what you make. I earned my master's degree in business during this, those first four months. Uh, and then I started getting some results. I got my first IBO and, um, uh, it took me four and a half months. I felt like I had promoted to senior vice president. And then, you know, I started building an organization. It took me about, um, three and a half months or so. Uh, and then I, I became a team coordinator, uh, regional director, right. Team coordinator, um, at the time. And, um, you know, it's been an unbelievable experience here. We are now 20 plus years. Uh, I now have four kids. Um, I've got, uh, you know, my daughter who, uh, just turned 25. Unbelievable. I can't even believe I'm saying that. And uh, I have four, uh, three little kids, a 10-year-old, a 7-year-old, and a 5-year-old. And I have to pinch myself. I have to pinch myself every single day because I, I cannot believe um, that this reality 
uh, that I'm living. I cannot believe some of the things that have happened in my life. I feel I am so blessed and I'm more excited today than I've ever been. Something that ACN is exceptional at is reinventing itself. Um, a few years ago, the DSA interviewed me and I happened to be in Mexico for this, for this interview. Uh, they didn't give me the, the, the questions, you know, beforehand. They, um, and so they asked me a handful of questions. And one of the questions that they asked me uh, was that after all these years building ACN, what, what, why was I still excited? That was the question. After a couple of decades of building ACN, why, why was I still building? Why was, it, why was I still in the trenches? And, and it was an easy answer for me. It was easy, a piece of cake to answer because one of the things that ACN does extremely well is every, I would say, two years, ACN always comes up with something new. Every two years, we get a brand new ACN. Every two years, what happens? A new service. Maybe a, 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 a tweak to the compensation plan to make it better. Uh, uh, maybe a, a, you know, a new market. Maybe a new, uh, a new country. And this has been going on since the day that I got started. So when I was talking to, um, you know, to that person from the DSA, I was traveling. I was literally in Latin America. And I, and I, and I said to this, to, this, um, you know, to this lady, I am right now in Latin America. We're launching, uh, we're launching a, new, you know, a, new, a new country. And I am super excited because I get to share. I get, I get to be the blessing to an entire country. And I get to bring this, you know, this incredible opportunity to these to these people and as we're speaking right now you know i'm more excited right now than i've ever been because of some of the things that acn is working on we just launched a new service in canada we uh, uh are launching something new in the u.s here in about in about 45 to 60 days uh we just la launched something new a few months ago we're launching a new service in mexico uh in the next uh, probably 60 days or so two new services are coming uh to colombia uh, Europe, you know, some new things are ha coming to Europe. And so we have a brand new ACN. We have a brand new ACN, um, you know, uh, today. And so I'm excited about the future. I'm excited for those of you who are brand new, who are getting started. You know, I, I, I already know, you know, the different emotions that you're going through. I know, I know some of the challenges that you're going to go through. Uh, and so my goal here today is to just share with you some things. And, you know, I've got a folder actually from uh, a folder of 20 years of notes, literally about a hundred pages of notes of conversations that I've had with senior vice president, circle of champions member, Mr. Brian Saxon, one of the most, one of my mentors, one of the most influential people for me uh, in this business. So here's my, my suggestion. As you listen to this training, look for your nugget of gold. Look for the one thing that's going to that's going to uh, create that breakthrough. That's going to take you to the next level. Uh, and so let's let's get into it. I'm going to ask you guys if okay, anyone build ACN, or do you have to be do you, do you have to have some some special skills? Do you have to be? Can we all agree that any young person, any old person, or older person, any woman or man or uh, 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 entrepreneur, not an entrepreneur, professional, not a professional, just a regular housewife. Can we agree that anyone can do ACN? Can anyone get 40 plus points? Can anyone get to 100 points? Can anyone become a team coordinator, a regional director? Uh, can anyone build a business that has 10 people a month joining and qualifying? Can anyone build a business that has 20 people a month and qualifying? Can any, anyone that has 50 people a month or 100 people a month qualifying? Or um, can anyone build a team that produces thousands of customers coming in every single month? How about, uh, can anyone become a regional vice president? Can anyone become a senior vice president? So we are going to address these things today with this conversation that, uh, that we are going to, uh, uh, going to have. So let's start with this. You know, let's, let's start with this. Let's start with leader. ACN is a leadership business. We are not in sales. Very important. We are not in sales. Uh, we are uh, in a leadership business. 
And who is the first person you are going to have to lead? That is yourself, the person that you see in the mirror. So let's look at the, uh, you know, the definition of a leader, a person or thing that leads, a guiding or directing head you know, of an army of movement or political group, right? You are leading your team. And Senior Vice President Brian Sachs uh, taught me that the three most important words um, for us in ACN, and I think as a leader, is lead by example. One word that defines leadership is influence. Uh, if you uh, take leadership and, and, and you use one, you only have one word to describe uh, uh, leadership, and that is influence, right? Influence. It's going to be important to be able to influence your team. It is the most important skill, I believe, uh, for us in ACN, I, I believe in, in, in life, influence. And who's going to be the first person you're going to have to influence is yourself. Uh, and take a look at this. Okay, I read this. This is from a book uh, that I read early on in, when I got started. So uh, it says here, and this is part of the book, it says, you know, according to Webster's Dictionary, to, to survive means to remain alive or in ex existence, particularly to live on after the death of others. The fascinating thing about network marketing is that in many instances, survival, i.e. staying in existence after others leave the business is precisely what leads to dramatic wealth. Attrition is a, a considerable factor in our business, yet we have rarely met anyone who has worked steadily in network marketing who doesn't eventually achieve success. And those rare individuals who do not succeed are usually their own worst enemies, constantly reinventing the wheel and complicating the simplest path to prosperity in the history of capitalism. In network marketing, listen to this, guys. Pay attention to this. In network marketing, you persevere or you perish. Quitting is the only, quitting is the one sure way to fail. Surviving the first year establishes a new distributor with a good basis for success. Our analysis shows that an estimated 95% of those who survive 10 years in network marketing become wealthy beyond their wildest expectations. These survivors have achieved either staggering financial rewards and or total time freedom. That is, having all the free time to do the things that really matter to you with the people you love most. This is, I read that the first, you know, six months probably um, that I was, I was in the business. And, and if you caught that, it said that 95% of those who survived 10 years in network marketing become wealthy beyond their wildest expectations. So the, the, the decision that I made in my first six months, is that I was going to work hard for 10 years. That for me, I was preparing myself for 10 years. I want you to prepare yourself for 10 years. Again, what if it took you 10 years to become a senior vice president? What if it took you 10 years to achieve complete freedom, financial independence? Now, it might not take 10 years. See, it may, you may do it you know, significantly faster than that. But is that, is that, is that, it, not a bad, you know, uh, a time frame, 10 year time frame. Some people have been working 20 and 30 years and are nowhere near financial independence, nowhere near uh, um, financial freedom. So that would, to me was a, an absolute game changer. Here, I want to, I want to go through some few ways of being, okay? Ways of being of, of top performers. I want to uh, share with you uh, ways of being of, of people um, who win, okay? People who, who win, you know, look at, let's look at this. You know, so, so uh, senior vice presidents, right? You know, uh, are ambitious. Uh, regional vice presidents, high performers, people who dominate, people who do well, people who, winners in life. You know, they are brave, they are confident, they are patient, you know, they are resourceful and they are, consistent, they are decisive, you know, they, they are uh, uh, responsible, they take action, you know, they're charismatic, empowering, okay, so this is who I want you to become, now here's the problem that we, that we come across in ACN, most people are this person, right, most people, when they get started in ACN, most people are, are, um, are victims, they blame their upline. They blame the economy, you know, outside sources. They, they, they are very negative. They're controlling, unemotional. They're, 
you know, ungrateful, irresponsible, disrespectful. These are some of the things, you know, some of the negative ways of being that people, you know, bring to ACN when they're first getting started, you know, that maybe you can identify with that you have, uh, you know, that, that have been a part of you. And I'm going to invite you to retire that person. If you know that you have been, you have played the victim, you know that maybe you've got a temper, you know maybe that in the past you've quit, uh, uh, you know, one too many things. You know that you tend to be a controller. You know that you tend to be a little bit irresponsible. You know that you tend to be a little bit moody, rageful, sad, unaffectionate. I want, I'm going to invite you to make a decision to retire this person, retire the, these ways of being and start adopting these ways of being uh, uh, into your life. Now, Robin Sharma um, said this, everything you now find easy was, was, was once hard. That is absolutely very powerful because it's refreshing to know, regardless of, of you know, what your situation is, regardless, you know, of you know, what's happening in your business, regardless of what position you hold right now, regardless, regardless of how many points you have, regardless of how much money you're making, how fast your business is growing. It is amazing to know that eventually you are going to figure this out. Eventually you are, you are going to start uh, achieving these goals. Eventually you are going to hit executive team leader, team coordinator, regional director, regional vice president, senior vice president. What, what's going to have to happen guys is you're going to have to you know, add some things into your life. So let's start with this. Let's start with in integrity, okay? Integrity. And so what I mean um, when I say integrity is, is you being your word. You following through on the things that you said or you say you are going to do. See, the problem is this. People get started and they say things. They say they're going to you know, get customers. They say they're going to get 10 customers. They say they're going to hit uh, a certain position by a certain amount of time. They say that they're uh, going to make a certain amount of money. They say that they're going to, you know, maybe get in shape or lose weight or start working out or start training or start learning a new language. And most people don't follow through. And so I'm going to, I'm going to explain to you um, something that a, a very successful person shared with, uh, shared with me a long time ago. Um, and I'm going to explain this. I'm going to use a mental bank uh, uh, as an a, a analogy, as, as, uh, as a way to explain this, okay? So here's what, what this gentleman explained to me, is that every time you say that you're going to do something and then you don't do it, then there is an, an invisible deposit of not following through. So for instance, somebody said, this is going to be my year. This is going to be the year that I buy a home for my family. And they don't do it. Deposit of not following through. This is the year that I'm going to get in shape. Deposit of not following through. I'm going to, I, they get an ACN. I'm going to go get 20 customer points and they don't do it. I'm going to hit ETL by this date. I'm going to hit, you know, this bonus by this date. Uh, or, or I'm going to, uh, you know, my goal is three IBOs this week and they don't do it. So they have thousands of mental bank deposits of not following through. Now let's flip it around. Imagine this. Imagine if uh, you made a decision that everything that you said from this point forward, you were going to follow through with. That you are going, to, you are, if it came out of your mouth, you're going to commit and you're going to get it done. So let's say, for instance, you're going to get the executive team leader done by May 1st. And because you committed, you didn't care. The sky could be falling. There could be issues in your personal life. There could be things happening, but you made a commitment that by May 1st, you were going to become an executive team leader and you knocked it out. So you know what happens? There's an invisible deposit of integrity. Then the next goal you set was to get maybe 50 or 60 customer points. And, and you know, you're a person of integrity. You always follow through. You knocked it out. You said you're going to lose five pounds and you got it done. You say you're going to start a, a, a workout program, get in better shape. You did it. You follow through. What ends, up, what ends up happening is now you start accumulating. You have dozens, you have hundreds of these mental bank deposits, eventually thousands. What happens is that over time, everything that you say comes to fruition. You literally speak things into existence. You set a goal 
um, you know, you want to help X amount of people achieve team coordinator, regional director, it gets done because now that's who you are. So I'm going to challenge you. Our team for the last 20 plus years has been one of the most successful teams in ACN. We currently have, I believe, the number one producer in the world uh, at the regional director position. Uh, we have, I don't know, at any given time, we have at least 40% of the top producers in the U.S., uh, part of our team in Latin America, the same thing. And the foundation of our team is following through. You say it, you get it done. I'm going to challenge you from this day forward that when you commit, when you say you're going to uh, do something, whatever it takes, no excuses. You can't make excuses and make money at the same time. You get it done. Okay, so let's start with that. Some foundational stuff with, uh, you know, integrity. Um, now, Power, power uh, uh, by definition is the ability to do. I want you to become a powerful person. No such thing as failure, only feedback, okay? No such thing as failure, only feedback. I remember a long time ago, uh, somebody interviewed me and they asked me about some of my failures. They said, I would, Efren, would you please share with me some of the things that you failed at? You know, and I said, I've never failed at anything. I've never failed it. I don't consider myself... I don't consider uh, uh, some of the things that, that you know, youth haven't achieved as, as failure. I, uh, I, I learn from them and, uh, and I can I continue to charge forward. So there's no such thing as failure. So there is no such thing as failure, only feedback. Um, now, reset, very powerful concept. Very, very powerful concept. Every once in a while, guys, we need to um, we're, we need to reset. We need to relaunch. See, the problem with with people is is that they live their life uh, looking in the rearview mirror. People are always concerned about the things that happened yesterday, the goals that they they missed yesterday, the shots that they missed yesterday, the frustrations of the past. That 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 uh, uh, baggage uh, uh, stops them from achieving some of the things today, achieving some of the things tomorrow. So I believe, and I've done this so many times, um, you know, over the years, is I, 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 I uh, take a step back and I, and I reset, literally. I have filled out an ACN, um, you know, uh, uh, imaginary, right, application so many times, probably 50 times. I said, you know what, I'm starting ACN, I'm resetting, but this is this is my day one, but the difference is that I'm now starting as a team coordinator, regional director. I'm now starting as a regional vice president. And as I, I reset, I, I do, I act as if I am a brand new IBO. So if I'm resetting, what do I need to do? Make a new list, start getting some customers, start making some phone calls and start building my team. I'm going to suggest um, for uh, the, um, you guys, some of you to maybe adopt this into your life every once in a while. Uh, uh, reset, reset, maybe go on 90 day blitzes, you know, and then, and then reset. So absolutely a very, very powerful, uh, very powerful. Uh, uh, the law of large numbers will never fail. The law of large numbers will never fail. When I got started in ACN, I would go to ACN trainings and the person that was doing the training um, would say, would say the law, he would say that he would say the law of large numbers never fails he would say every saturday training law of large numbers never fails and he said this he said for every 10 presentations that you do um approximately two ibos will get started so 20 percent is going to be the sign-up percentage right so i said cool i can show 10 people the business to get two ibos no big deal i can i can continue to show people the business and so i did I showed the business to one, two, three, four, five people, six people, seven, eight, nine, ten. And how many people do you think um, joined my team? Zero. All right, no big deal. All right, I, I would go to trainings, and the person said, "Oh, the law of large numbers will never fail you. You know, the law of averages will never fail you." All right, no big deal. I kept on showing the business. I showed. 11 and 12 and 13 and 14 people to business and then 15 people of the business and then uh, 16 and then 17 and then 18 and then 19 and then 20 people to business and guess how many and this is why I have this slide like this and then how many people do you think I've showed I, I, I signed up after uh, around 20 exposures and then I did 21 and 22 22 23 24 25 how many people do you think I signed up zero 
people, and then 26, and then 27, and then 28, and then 29, and then 30. Zero exposures. And I would go to these trainings every, from every week, and the person would say the same thing. The law of large numbers will never fail you. You know what? I thought this guy's a liar. <laughs> this guy is lying. Why does he say that? I've shown 30 people a business and no one has signed up. I don't have my one IBO. The law of large numbers probably doesn't apply to everyone. Maybe it applied to him. Maybe it applies to some people. That's what I thought. And, I, and as I continue to show the business, 31, 32, 33, 34, you know, 35, 36, all the way to 40, I got zero people. Let me ask you guys a question. Do you think that after showing the business to 40 people, they full-blown presentation. Now, they keep in mind, I live in a, uh, at that time I was living in a big city. So one hour to drive to meet with these, uh, my, 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 my prospects, uh, you know, about an hour presenting to them, an hour back home, right? So two to three hours worth of work to meet with these people. Do you think I was frustrated? Do you think I questioned uh, my ability? Do you think I questioned if this could work for me? 100%, 100%. Uh, I, I, I started questioning if maybe this was, this was for me, right? Leaders are, you know, they're just different, right? Leaders are different. And uh, I continued, 50 presentations, no 50 exposures, 50, 50 uh, presentations, not one new team member, 52, 53. And then number 54, guys, number 54, I got an IBO, number 54 signed up. And his name was Billy Salibi. Number 54 was, was, was my childhood friend who signed up. I could not believe number 54 signed up. I could not believe <laughs> that I finally had, had a team member. I mean, I literally felt like I had just became a senior vice president. I literally felt that I had just made, you know, a million dollars because my one, I, I, thought it was, I thought I was never going to have a new team member. But what's interesting is that number 55 also signed up. And then number 56 signed up. And then number 57 signed up. And I think also number 58. Um, I got five new team members, uh, you know, the next uh, five, uh, the next six or seven exposures. Um, and, 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 and now I share with you the same thing that this trainer shared with, uh, uh, with me and with us. The law of large numbers never fails. You got you to gotta, you gotta work the numbers. You may not get two out of ten. Uh, you may not get, you know, uh, four uh, out of 20, but eventually the, na, the law of large numbers will never fail. Eventually, the numbers will work to your favor. And, uh, you know, think about how much money I've made on that 54th presentation over the years with uh, 30,000 people uh, that joined that organization. You know, it was uh, an, an incredible lesson. And uh, uh, that was, uh, you know, worth, worth, worth all that, you know, that time and, 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 and worth all that work. Um, every challenge comes with an opportunity. The question people always ask themselves is, why is this happening to me? That's what people always say. Why is this happening to me? Why am I not a, a team coordinator, regional director? Why am I not a regional vice president? Why isn't my team growing? Why am I not a senior vice president? That's the wrong question to ask. The question that you should be asking yourself is, you know, what are you supposed to be learning from the situation? You know, what modifications do you need to make in order to get to, uh, to team coordinator, regional director, regional vice president, senior vice president? What do you need to learn? Um, you know, uh, so there is, um, uh, you know, a, every challenge comes with, comes with an opportunity. Now, this is going to take some pressure off of you, okay? You know, just keep in mind that 0 to 27% of the people that you come across, they're going to be negative, okay? They're going to be negative, they're going to be whiners, and they're going to do nothing about it. 27 to 70% of people out there, people that you meet, they're just going to talk, right? They're going to talk big, big, they're going to talk a big game, they're going to tell you you're going to do things, but they're never going to follow through with them. 70 to 97% are your doers. These are the people that actually are going to take action, right? They're, they're, they're going to make the phone calls. They're going to they're gonna show up to the meetings. And 3% of the people out there are leaders. And see, what you want, if you want to build a huge organization, you want to build a big team, you want to keep an eye out for that 3%. 70% of people are in that negative or that talker's category. They get frustrated. 
and um, what a lot of people, uh, the way that a lot of people handle uh, ch challenges is by, uh, you know, abandoning the ship by, by quitting. Okay. Um, so B do have something I learned from an AC, a top ACN leader is that B do have, um, and this, this very successful leader in ACN, you know, would, would, would say this, he would say that a lot of people have this order and this formula mixed up. He says, a lot of people think that if they had money, they would be an ACN, right? If, uh, if they, had uh, contacts, they would be successful in ACN. If they had relationships, they would be in ACN. If they had, you know, uh, a position, uh, they would they would be more successful. And if they were, you know, uh, an executive team leader or a team coordinator, or they had the money that a, a senior vice president has, and then so they think that if they had something, right, they had, then they um, then they would, uh, you know, do the work and they would be the leader, right? Other people think, right, they focus on the work. They focus on doing the calls, doing, doing the, uh, you know, the presentations. And they think that if they focus on the doing part, then they'll have an LB senior vice president. Well, no, this, this, this leader in ACN, you know, taught us is that the order is be, do, have. First, you've got to become the, a senior vice president or become the leader that you want to attract in your team, become the best version of yourself. And at the same time, you're, you're, you're going to start doing the work. So as you do the work, you're becoming this better person. Uh, you're becoming better at communicating. You're becoming better at, at building the business. And then you end up having, right, uh, having uh, the results that you want. So we have the belief cycle. The belief cycle is absolutely powerful that potential do we all can we all agree that everyone has the potential uh to build acn right everybody has the potential so so let's say that somebody tapped into their potential okay what would happen see it's because we know that the potential is not the issue the issue is belief right the issue is if someone believes that they can get they, you know, become a senior vice president. If they believe that they're going to acquire that customer. If they believe that they're going to go out and build a team. So if somebody believes, then what they're going to do is they're going to tap into that potential, right? And because they tap into the potential now, you know, they're taking action. What happens when somebody uh, takes the necessary, the right action? They get results. What happens when somebody gets results? Now the belief tank is full again. Now they take, they tap into that potential. They take action. They get the results. And it's a belief cycle. So what we always, guys, have to make sure that it's full every single day. We always have to make sure that our belief tank is completely full every single day. So where is your belief right now? Uh, uh, so do you, for instance, do you, um, you know, is this, do you feel like this is the, you know, the beginning stages of your ACN career? Or do you feel like it's, you know, the end? Do you feel like this is, you know, just the beginning of your, the empire that you're building? Or do you feel like, oh, you talk to everyone that you know? You know, how do you make sure that, um, you know, that that belief is, uh, the belief tank is, is full? So first, let's talk about uh, what belief is, okay? Belief is uh, a, a feeling, okay? So belief is, um, is a feeling of certainty about something, right? So it's, it's like you, you feel you get this feeling that you can get, get a customer. You get this feeling that you're going to uh, achieve this goal. There's a feeling that is, that is belief, okay? Now, every great achiever has the ability to get themselves to feel certain that they could succeed, even if no one before them has accomplished whatever it is that they're going after. They are able to create references where no reference, references existed and achieve what seemed to be impossible. Now, the challenge with beliefs is they become limitations for future decisions about who you are and what you are capable, uh, oops, and who you are and what you are capable of. All personal breakthroughs happen with a change in belief. So how do we change a belief? How do you turn an idea into uh, a belief? So let's start with two things. Number one is you, you, um, you must get yourself to associate massive pain to the old belief of something. So for instance, 
Okay. So for instance, when, uh, when I got an ACN, I printed out a picture of my daughter and I put it right above my bed. Every day I woke up, I see the picture of my daughter. Every single day I see that picture of my daughter. And I associated a tremendous amount of pain with not going out there and talking to people. At the end of the day, if I did not uh, uh, have any presentations that I had done, I associated a lot of pain with that. Okay. And so uh, some people are driven by, uh, by that pain. Okay. The other uh, uh, way to do it is with the pleasure, right? The pleasure. And I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. So you, you play with the pain or pleasure, okay? Pain or pleasure, and you, and you can get yourself uh, to, take, to take massive action, okay? Here we are. Second thing is create doubt, right? You know, so some people, for instance, maybe they have a belief that ACN is hard. Well, is, is ACN really hard? Or maybe, maybe it's, it's hard for you right now. Right. But ACN isn't really hard because that's just a belief, you know, does, uh, or uh, well, how about this? Um, some people um, have have uh, have told me that a ACN takes a long time, um, you know, for you to, to make a significant amount of money. When I say, well, is that true? Or are there people in ACN that have actually made a significant amount of money in a very short period of time because it's completely it's a belief. So um, we're going to look at how we can uh, change these beliefs. Number one here, we start with environment. Very important. You become a product of your environment. It's very important um, that if you want to change your beliefs, you got to be in the right environment. Um, gosh, look, if you hang around bad people, it's just a matter of time before you do something bad. If you hang around investors, you will become an investor. You know, so you must hang around people right, uh, uh, that will support these beliefs that you are adding into your life. So number one, very important, your environment. A lot of times people hang out with, hang out with people who don't challenge. So this was a game changer. You know, when I learned this, one of the things that I wanted to do was I wanted to live with a top producer. And uh, Brian Sachs, Senior Vice President Brian Sachs, and I spoke about living together. I wanted to be around him because I wanted this environment, you know, of, 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 a, of a top producer. I wanted to be in this environment with a leader. I wanted to be in this environment with someone that every single day was going to fight for their goals and fight for their dreams. Well, it didn't work out because, uh, <laughs> well, we, I had really bad credit and apparently he did too. So that, that, that didn't work out, but I still was able uh, to, to put myself in that environment. Okay, uh, so that is uh, that is uh, the first thing we're going to talk about. Next is, is is knowledge. When you when you start learning, right? When you start learning how to do these things, when you start learning how to do three calls, when you learn the presentation, when you learn all the questions that people are going to ask you when you're out talking to people, uh, the poss possible when you learn all the possible obstacles, it gets full. Uh, and then references. Okay, the references is, is very important. You look for the people that have already solved your problems. You look for people. Whoever, if you're if you uh, are trying to um, add a, a belief that customer acquisition is easy, well, you look for people who have forty or fifty or sixty or hundred customers. Talk to them, ask them questions. You look for references. Look for someone who maybe uh, is a, a, a top as a number one producer. Look for the number one producer, you know, in uh, in South Korea or the number one producer in Asia or the number one producer in the world of ACN. Um, look for someone that has solved your problems look for the evidence that's going to support that belief references is going to be is is absolutely crucial okay avoid avoid anything that weakens you avoid anything that weakens you. imagination very important okay um something that uh, i learned from senior vice president brian Sachs is that leaders live in the future and um, another one of my coaches uh taught me that every day to just close my eyes for about a minute or two and just go into the future. Use my imagination and go into the future. Go into the future. You know, how will regional vice president look like? You know, uh, how will senior vice president look like? How will your life be as a senior vice president? You know, where are you living? What's your team? What does your team look like? What does your production look like? What's your schedule throughout the day look like? And just go into the future and use your imagination and create a result in advance. Um, also, I am a big believer 
and dream boards. I am a big, 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 big believer in, in, uh, you know, in, in getting a dream board and, and uh, 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 copying out magazine pictures and printing out stuff and putting it on the wall. And I'm gonna show you some of the things that I actually uh, printed out. These are old, 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 old. So look at this. This is, um, I, I printed this out from a magazine. This was, you know, a kitchen that I really liked at the time, right? You know, I was, you, you guys heard a few minutes ago, I was living in a one bedroom apartment. I had no food in my fridge. You know, I saw this and I thought it'd be really cool. You know, I thought it would be cool to live uh, in front of the ocean. I thought it was cool, right? I'm dreaming here. I'm using my imagination. You know, I'm using my imagination and I'm, and I'm, I'm using it as fuel to pull me forward um, uh, to do the things, uh, to get uncomfortable and do the things that I needed to do. And, um, and look at what happened, you know, just after a few short years of building ACN, um, we ended up getting a house, you know, right on the beach with the backyard, the Pacific Ocean. Look at that. It was unbelievable. Every morning I'd wake up and have, you know, a cup of coffee and I stare at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Pacific Ocean. And uh, this is our house um, that we just bought, actually. We just bought this house a few months ago uh, here in uh, in Montana. I'm, I'm We live in... Uh, in uh, the state of Nevada right now, uh, but we wanted a mountain house, and uh, we got this uh, this mountain house. But in in November of uh, of 2020, and uh, look, they look at the you know the the view of uh, one of the biggest lakes in the U.S. Um, unbelievable, unbelievable. But I used my imagination, right? I used my imagination, you know, uh, to get myself right to get myself to as to pull me forward, to pull me to do the work. And then, um, and then previous results. Okay, what you want to do is you want to, whatever it is that you want to achieve, you want to just do it once, right? So if your goal is, uh, you know, you want the belief that uh, 10 IBOs is easy or 15 IBOs is easy, or you want to, or, or doable, or 50 or 100 IBOs, or you become a, a team coordinator or whatever it is, what you want to do is just do it once. Okay, just do it once. Do it once. Uh, sign up 10 IBOs in a month, one time. And once you do it, once you know that you could do it, then you go after it again. Then you do it again. And you do it again. You do it again. So previous results is uh, is another way to get that done. Um, and, uh, you know, and that is how you make sure that your belief tank is uh, is full. So guys, hopefully um, you got your nugget of gold. You know, hopefully you got your nugget of gold out of, out of, the, of the conversation that we just had. Um, I, I, uh, gosh, uh, I am, you know, uh, it's just ultra grateful. I'm just super grateful, uh, of everything that has happened, uh, to me, the, the person, the leader that I've become over the years of building ACN, I'm super grateful, you know, see, uh, senior vice president, Brian Sachs has, has been unbelievable, the coaching and the conversations and the training and the vision. And so, um, when he invited me, um, uh, it, it's just, it was just an absolute honor. And I guarantee you that, uh, if you apply some of the things that you're learning this weekend, that, uh, this could be the best year of your life. If you apply some of the things, you know, uh, uh, the problem with people sometimes is that they, 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 um, they get on trainings and they learn a lot, but I believe a training is not effective unless you've applied what you learn. So it's not, it's now to take time to take action to apply what you learn, don't don't complete this weekend uh, without a game plan. Do not complete this weekend without a game plan. A bad plan is better than no plan. So, what is your plan to finish off? Um, you know this this uh, quarter strong. What is your plan to make sure that the next six months are the most uh, productive months uh, in your business? What are you gonna? What are you going to do? What, what plan will you have to make sure that this is your best year uh, you've ever had? And what plan will you have that over the next maybe 6, 12, 24 months, prepare yourself for the future? Um, you know, as it uh, as a situation improves, what, what, what do we do as a, as a company? We're going to launch more Asian countries and more countries around the world. And you want to be there uh, for that next country launch. You want to be prepared. You want to have the abilities to be able to take advantage. So thank you so much. You guys have a great weekend. And hopefully one of these days we'll get a chance to meet. God bless.